this is the last case for linear differential equation of nth order so in this tutorial i am going to share with you the case last one that is fourth case so till now i have already shared with you three cases and i have also shared with you few basic concepts and of course gate questions those already asked in gate previous year well unfortunately i could not find out any question asked in gate previous year in this case that's why i cannot share with you any question but of course i will share with you the basic concept behind it for what you are right now in this tutorial right so if if suppose that we are having imaginary function because iota is there if we are getting two pairs of imaginary roots just like given example x1 is equal to x2 is equal to a plus iota b and x2 x3 is equal to x4 is equal to a minus iota b in that case how we can find out how we can find out the general solution or compute solution that means how we can find out y i mean what would be the formula for finding out y if we are getting this condition so let me share with you in that case we can write y is equal to e to the power a x uh, c1 plus or yeah must c1 x plus c2 c1 x plus c2 or uh, in many in many books you will find c1 plus c2 x okay you can write also according to that only okay in many books you find c1 plus c2 x also c2 x right so c1 plus c2 x cos beta x or a can side it's b x because i am taking a b right and plus c1 plus c uh, yeah c1 taken c3 plus c4 uh, x sin b x okay so this is the equation you can write sin b x let me uh, let me yeah now you can see so what exactly we can write y is equal to e to the power a x c1 plus c2 x cos b x plus c3 c4 x multiple sin b x so this is how we can write the equation after then we can say c1 e to the power m x you can or e to the power x x you can write x1 x you can write right that is up to you what you were thinking about the equation right so this is all about the linear differential equation of nth order and the fourth case as i have shared with you yeah one would one thing i would like to share with you that i have noticed in mean, many book in many book they said a is equal to alpha b is equal to beta as i have taken a b okay so uh, both are same if you are getting confused then let me share both are same in where any books x1 they have taken m1 and x2 they have taken m2 okay many books i have seen so you can also take m1 and m2 that is up to you but the concept i am sharing with you here this is the key concept to solve the math uh, problem without any confusion so uh, what to do you need to just remember this equation and uh, most probably in gate uh, i haven't seen any question if you have seen then send me i will create that video i will try to create video on that topic but yes if you learn this topic in this way and uh, if yeah if you have watched all cases case one case two case three then that's that's good really very good if you haven't watched then i will definitely tell you go and watch those videos because those are really amazing and you will learn something and most probably you will get question from those topics because those topics are most important so let me overview because uh, i wanted to share with you a few more things in this video they have taught well because you have landed on this page that means i need to share with you a few amazing things about differential equation of nth order so what we have talked basically in case one we have talked in case one that if x1 is not equal to x2 then what will happen then what will happen i have already shared with you if x1 is not equal to x2 then we can say that y is equal to c1 e to the power x1 x plus c2 e to the power x2 x and so on so on okay so if x1 is not equal to x2 not equal to now in case two what we have talked if x1 is equal to x2 in case two we have talked if x1 equal to x2 then what is the general solution for that case 
I mean, what would be the general solution for that case? So we can write that y is equal to c1 plus c2x e to the power x1 x if x1 is equal to x2 again my dear if you are thinking about this you can you can solve anything i mean you can solve any question it is up to you what you wanted to solve right so this is about the x1 is equal to x2 now if you are in if you haven't watched that's why i'm sharing with you in case 3 what we did we said that if x1 is equal to a plus iota b and x2 is equal to a minus i b then what is the general solution i mean how to find out y in that case so this is like the same here this difference is a to the power a so y is equal to e to the power a x and here what we, what we have to write c1 cos b x plus c2 sin b x well after then we have to write c3 and all that okay so this is about the cases and in this case we have also shared with the fourth case so uh, we have shared with you the problems in this case i have shared the problems those already asking gate this one also we have shared the problem gate and this one also we have shared the gate problem so i would recommend you watch those videos you will learn a lot of things about uh, about the cases all cases as well as how to solve numerical problem related to this topic so if you are preparing for gate then one more thing i would like to share with you share with you i have solved many question in this topic right so I have seen also and I did analysis. This is, this is my personal analysis. There is at least one question you will get from this nth order. Well, I have also shared with you linear differential equation for first order. That means there will not be any square or anything. You will get simple equation and you have to find out the answer by using variable separable concept quite easily. You can solve question, right? So you the probability of getting question from other topics just like variable separable method as well as degree and order and of course nth order so if you will see these three topics let me share with you if you are talking about degree and order one topic and second topic is uh, that is first order first order differential equation differential equation and topic third is this linear differential equation linear differential equation of nth order so we got these three uh, these three topics here till now we have gone through in this differential equation so if you ask which topic is most important for gate point of view then all these topics but probability of getting question from which topic then I will definitely tell you the topic third which exactly I'm talking about but yes this is not that much important i mean this uh, case fourth is not that much important i am repeating again case fourth is not that much important that's why i'm making this this uh, video total more important because i am sharing with you some important general information about differential equation for gate point of view now if you are preparing for university examination then i will definitely recommend you go for it you can get question from this uh, case also so i will not stop you to uh, study but yes you if you are preparing then you should remember you should learn about this topic because this is also important topic right but for gate point of view the all cases these all other cases case one case two and case three are most important i have seen most of the time in every year we usually get at least one question from these cases so till now we have studied three topics these three topics are most important but the important one is this one which one i am talking about these days case one case two and case three these three cases are most important all right so in general what happened we got two to three question at least one question we get from linear differential differential equation and that one question can become from nth order of linear differential equation all right so till now i have shared with you a lot of information about gate and i hope you understand you got some inside information about gate and uh, at least for this topic linear differential equation and uh, for nth order also and uh, definitely if you got help from this video i will definitely uh, 
definitely recommend you please share this video with your friends and of course uh, subscribe to our channel to get best out of it and you will get all notification on your dashboard only well thanks for watching see you soon in my next video dot well bye bye